Guys, I'm absolutely, um, I'm absolutely gutted. Like I promised, I promised my little, I promised my little brother I would be at this thing. My brother's getting a, an award today at school because he's just been like exceptionally well behaved, and I promised him that I'd be there. But the traffic is just ridiculously bad, and I'm just not going to make it. And I know he's just going to be there, like looking for me. Look, seven, nine miles an hour. That's the fastest I've gone. Ten, eleven. If anyone knows this, it's you guys. You guys know that if I miss a day vlogging, that it would absolutely kill me. Like if I manage to not upload a video, I hate letting people down. It's the worst thing in the world. Letting somebody down is the worst feeling ever. I hate it so much, and I just can't let my brother down. Being enthusiastic. Very cool, mate. Very cool. Shout out as much as you can. Let's yeah, see. there you are. Let's thanks. Oh, thanks. It's honestly mad. Like, it's just mad. I don't get it. What drives people to. So, I woke up this morning at Maria's house. She made me some breakfast. Absolutely loved it, right? I went home, had a shower, did a little bit of work, and then it was my brother's. He was getting an award at school, right? So I walk into I walk into his school thing. My brother's absolutely gobsmacked, but I'm there, so he's stood there like a pencil. Like. He gets his award. I'm really proud of him. And then I do like all the kids that were sat in the hallway, right? They're all they're all they see me walk in and they're just like all turning all they're just like all turning around like whispering to each other like, oh my god, he's mad. And all the parents sat at the back row uh, are looking at all these kids whispering to each other and turning around and looking at me and they're probably thinking, what the hell's this? Kid? And then I'm doing like a massive signature session at the end of this and it's absolutely lovely right I then drive to Subway because I'm really hungry right and this is where things kick up. and there's a nice young girl doing the bits where she puts the meat on the sub right and she did mine for me I appreciate it thank you but there was two kids before me and they genuinely looked about 13 14 years old and I heard one of them say while she was making the sub do you know anywhere where I can buy any fags right there's literally an Asda right next to Subway, right? But they're about 13 and I'm thinking, oh, here we go. And they're being like proper gobby, proper like just unawful to these to these Subway workers, right? Including this really nice girl who looks like she's new because I've never seen her before. And the manager ends up having to come out and he's like, and he's like, we're not going to serve you if you keep acting like idiot. Just tell them what you want on your Subway, you idiot. Don't just be, don't be stupid about it. Oh, people are so strange, man. Walk into Subway, order your Subway, leave Subway. Don't walk into Subway, be a complete knob, and then walk out of your Subway. It's just not. Right, so guys, today is the day I'm going to be deciding if I'm moving office. And the only way I'm, I'm going to decide to do that is by, is by comparing the two spaces. <laughs> Now this space at the moment, it's just knackered. Look, 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 look. There's stuff everywhere. I need to clean it. So I'm gonna smash the lights on, but three, two, one. Right, so I've done my best to tidy the room to the best of my ability, right? Let's just turn the TV on first. So let's go over this room, right? From start to finish, we've got my desk here, right? Which is which is absolutely fine. Now, if we're going to stay in this room, we've got this bit to sort out because this just isn't cool at all. We've also got this bit to sort out and maybe we can change up this bit. I want to change this bit to this bit down here with this all these horrible cables inside this horrible cabinet here. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. That's not good. TV's fine. Editing station's fine. Maybe needs a little bit of a rejig. My desk is fine, that unit's fine. And obviously with this room, we've got the added bonus of the live streaming room, which we're gonna be starting in the next two weeks. So what I'm gonna do now is go into the other room and compare it to this room. By the way, we have the added security of having this big door here and then another door. We have this corridor in the new room with this logo thing in it, we're in this room. We don't get that in the new room. Right, let's take a look at this room from a stand. Let's take a look at its pros and its cons. So the biggest pro number one is that we've got a carpet in here, so it sounds a lot better, but we could put a carpet in that room. The other pro to this room is that it's a lot bigger, like, Almost three times the size. No, I'm gonna say two times. And it does have a hidden room up there. Yes, a lot of you pointed that out. But the room in the other office is a lot better. This is, 
This isn't even a room, this is tiny. So realistically, the only pro to this room, right? The only pro to this room is a carpet and more space. And now there's a comment that one of you guys put, and yes, obviously I do read the comments that you guys put on the videos. I absolutely love hearing what you guys have to say. Someone said, new office, new opportunity, move. And as much as I do agree with that, and as much as it is a new opportunity, it's also a thought process. Someone said this to me the other day, they said, <clears throat> they said, if you spend a lot of time doing the same thing, it becomes easy. And sometimes if you spend all the time in your box, your vision gets mangled. You have to step outside the box. And getting the opportunity to move into this room, that opportunity alone allowed me to step outside of the box, which is my current office. Now that doesn't mean I have to leave my current box, my current office, but it's giving me the opportunity to step out and look at things from a bigger angle. Imagine TV on the wall there, the curved TV on the wall there with all the games consoles down there. The thing I like about the office at the moment is that it isn't just like a square room. It's got a load of like waves and different bits to it. But guys, if we're to move in here, I need your help. Door is there, there's a big space there, there's a load of space over there which I think we could put, put like a port corner sofa there. And then we've got this three windowed wall here and then there's a load of space over there and this is like like that, and there's a load of space there, and then we're back to the door again, and then this is the roof for any constellation. Let me know in the comment section what you think we could do in this room. And if you guys put some wicked ideas, right? Space is nice, but what's the point if you don't need it? If we stay in this room, I want an LED strip up there firing up onto the roof and looking down onto this wall. If we stay in this room, I want this room all done and starting within the next two weeks. If we stay in this room, I want to sort all of this out and get some shelving on the walls and have a camera corner and a tech corner. Maybe do the thing that everybody's doing at the moment where they mount their consoles on the wall and have all the cables running around. The thing to note here, guys, is we've got opportunity. And opportunity is always a good thing. and picked up some some 9 volt batteries. I order I usually order my batteries for my vlogging rig in bulk off of eBay because and I've just actually had today my first ever eBay dispute where I, I ordered them and paid for them and did, they didn't send them out. So I went to Poundland to pick up these today. I've ordered some more off eBay. Hopefully, hopefully they're alright. I think I buy 10 9 volt batteries for like £8.50 or something. I have no idea what this thing is even gonna do. I'm hoping it tells me when someone enters my room when I'm not here. So I know if someone if someone comes in my room or not. Hey Siri, turn on the wall light. Hey! Right, yesterday's video has just gone live. It's currently half past six. I've got a meeting right now. I should be there now. I need to leave. Hey guys, so the meeting went really, 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 really well. Uh, yeah, really good meeting. It was about QT, so you guys know QT, the website that I've been working with and that I partnered with, well not partnered with, I like kind of opened it with QT. With... But QT was like an idea, a concept that I joined onto when it wasn't even like a website and then it became a website and then, yeah, that's pretty much how I got involved with QT. I was involved right from the start and at the moment we're going through a few stages at the moment. We're trying to do, we're trying to do some different things and I know a lot of you guys have mentioned mentioned an app. Yeah, I can't really say anything just yet. Now I've just got back and um, I've just looked at like yesterday's video because it's been up for two and a half hours now. I know when like YouTubers say like that they're going to do something with another broadcasting company. Let's just use like Ali A is doing a show with the guy called Lord Aline. They all sort of receive a bit of slack for it. Now I went down to BBC yesterday and I said what I thought was a bit of a joke in the video was that I'm gonna give up YouTube and go to TV and I clearly said that in a jokey way. Like if that was, if it, that didn't come across in the video, it was a joke. I was just having a laugh with you guys, right? I know I'm a very serious guy and I'm gonna talk a little bit about this tomorrow and I'm very serious and you know, I've rep my work hard anywhere brand and I like to have my nice board on the wall with all my planning and stuff and but that also doesn't stop me from having a bit of a fun and like the one time I tried to have a bit of like a little bit of a joke and a laugh with you guys, I just sort of got like a bit destroyed in the comment section about it like saying, oh Alex is such a shout out or Alex's vlog was rubbish and I was just like, I was just trying to have a bit of a, a bit of a laugh. Like of course I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm, I'm never gonna 
going to leave YouTube and I'm probably not for a long time going to be having a TV show. We, we were only discussing it. We were only talking about it. Do you remember what, I've, remember what I've told you guys? Everything starts with an idea. Absolutely everything starts with an idea. Yeah. And the execution is the hard part. We're probably not going to execute this. But the fact is I went down to BBC and we were talking about the idea and I was just I'm not leaving YouTube. OK, I was just ha trying to have a laugh with you guys. I apologize for the people that took it the wrong way. Didn't mean to offend anybody at all. Not that it did offend you. People were just getting a bit annoyed and stuff. And I just, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it. And it's made me a little bit upset that people reacted in the way that they did. Because, like, you guys mean the absolute world to me and everything. And, like, it, it's actually kind of upset me a little bit. And I just need to go and think about things. So what's the best thing to do when you want to go and think about things? It's to... It's to go for a run. Well, it is for me anyway, and I haven't been for a run in a while. And when I'm running, I can just be with my thoughts and think about things and put things into perspective. It's like minus two degrees outside, so I'm, I'm dressing up for this. <laughs> Is the door open? Your Alex room door is open. How cool is that? I love your faces. I'll keep up the daily vlogs as long as you guys keep up the support and I'm not quitting anything, anything for any sort of stupid TV. At the end of the day, TV is a, is a dying medium. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in tomorrow's vlog. Have a brilliant rest of your evening or day whenever you're watching this. You're awesome. I love you. Adios.